Oh my god. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> Babe, you did it. It's a boy. We've got a beautiful little boy. He's so little, but he's... Oh, babe, he's absolutely perfect. Can, can you hear him, babe? He... Baby? Baby, look at me. Baby, open your eyes. Uh, doctor, something's wrong. Sweetheart, sweetheart, please say something. Uh... T -t tell me, tell me what's wrong. Oh, no, no. God, no. Baby, please, please, please open your eyes. I'm, 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 no, I'm not going to leave her. Someone needs to tell me what the hell is going on. Damn it, get your hands off me. Babe, please wake up. No. Understand it. Everything was going like it should have. She was healthy. We did everything we were supposed to. Hey. Oh, I'm so glad you came. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of the family's already here. Everyone else is on their way. I've I've uh I've already been making some of the necessary calls. You know, my parents, her mother. God, it's not fair. I just don't understand. Out of all the people it had to happen to, why did it have to happen to her? I already miss her so much. I just... I just don't know what I'm going to do without her. <sighs> yeah, 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 uh, I'm all right, no, no, it's okay, I don't, I don't, I don't mind talking about it, the truth is they, uh, they aren't really sure what happened, they're still waiting on test results, all I remember is the, the baby crying, I heard her let out a breath, and then... That was it. I just... I just I just wish I could have done something. I know. There's nothing I could have done. That's what the doctors kept telling me, too. But... I, I knew her better than anybody. I, I should have been able to... Tell something was wrong. I don't know. I should have, should have seen it sooner. No. I haven't seen them yet. Not since the. Uh, not since the delivery. They whisked them off to the NICU, and I, I haven't gone by yet. They said he looks just like his mother. Why did you have to tell me that? That... <laughs> That's nice. I'm sure she would have liked that. No, I... I, I can't... I can't see him. Not yet. I know that's my son, but... My wife, she... She was the one that was really set on us having kids. I mean, uh, sure, I wanted them too, but I always liked the idea of us starting a family together. Because she was the natural about it, you know, making bottles, 
changing diapers, babysitting and all that stuff. Well, I've, I've never even held a baby in my life. No, actually, you, you don't understand. You can't possibly understand how overwhelming this is for me. And besides, there's just, there's just, there's just so much more to it than that. It's not just having to learn all this stuff on my own. It's living with the fact that for the rest of my life, I'm going to have to raise this child knowing that he's the reason his mother's not here. I mean, every time I I look at my son, I'm going to see my wife's face and remember everything, everything he took away from me. I mean, we, we were supposed to see the world together. We were supposed to raise our family together. We were supposed to grow old together. How am I supposed to keep going? How am I supposed to love someone who robbed me of the one person I loved most? I'm sorry. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm saying. These are all such... Horrible things to say and horrible ways to feel. I just... God. It's just a lot to process all of this. Just... Just forget what I said, okay? What would she say right now? She'd ask me what I'm still doing out here. She'd say... She'd say... I know you can do this. Like she always did when I needed a push in the right direction. And she'd tell me what to do. And that I know what I should be doing. I guess I'm just scared. <laughs> I mean, I was nervous about being a father before, but between the two of us, I knew we could do it. I mean, I just, I just don't know if I can do this on my own. You're right. I won't really be alone. There are so many people just as excited about this baby as we were. All of our friends and family were already making offers to babysit when we needed it, and I... I know them all well enough to know they'd give me a few pointers. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we do have a pretty good support system behind us, you know. Our families, our friends. <laughs> yes, and you too. Yeah, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna... Jeez, oh, wipe up and head down there now. <laughs> hey, for, for what it's worth, thank you for everything. It really means a lot to me. To, uh... <clears throat> to both of us. Okay, Cartlin, you finally made it here. You can do this. Just walk those few steps over to your son and you'll be fine. How hard can it be, right? No, no. I take it back. I can't do this. What was I thinking? You're in way over your head here. There's no way you can possibly... Huh? No, I'm, I'm all right. Just a little in thought, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Cardlin. Yes, I've come to see. You already know who I am? I guess news travels fast in this hospital. Sure, I'm 
Uh, right behind you. Is that him? He's hooked up to so many wires. Is, is that normal? It's just a precaution because of his size. Okay, that's good. Uh, would it be okay if I, uh, if I uh, t touch him? Awesome. <laughs> Do I just reach my hand in there or? Oh, wow. He's holding my finger. You've got a pretty strong grip there, you know that? Yeah, he's definitely a fighter. He gets that from his... Do I want to hold him? Um, yeah, sure. Where do I... Oh, yeah. I guess you have these chairs here for a reason. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm ready. Oh, God, he's squirming. <laughs> Why does he keep moving like that? Hold him closer to me. Okay, just... Shift you over like this and... Wow. That actually worked. Um... Hey there. It's, uh... It's Daddy. <laughs> I think he recognizes my voice. Huh. They were right. You do look just like your mother. No, no, no. Go ahead. I, I think we'll be all right for a bit. You know, little guy, this wasn't how I was expecting the first time I held you to go, but... I'll take it. So, you and I, we need to have a little talk. I know you don't understand what's going on right now, but... But your, your mom... Well, uh, let's just say it's going to be just you and me for a while at least and I have to confess I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing <laughs> I need to ap apologize to you too for for not coming here sooner and if if I'm being totally honest for almost <laughs> Not coming at all. But someone very special helped me remember why I needed to be here. Because it's exactly what your mom would have wanted. She, oh, she wanted you so much, you know that? You know, even before we got married, she used to say that the one thing she wanted more than anything was to be a mom. And I truly think that even if she knew this would happen, she would have done it all over again. Just so you could be here. You're her gift to me. You're, yeah, you're her gift to me. And I, I guess I just forgot that for a while. So, I'm going to make you a promise. Right here, right now. No, I can't promise I'm going to do everything right. <laughs> I'm not going to always know the right things to say. I'm going to make more mistakes than I can count. <laughs> but I'm...
going to always be here for you. I will always be there to listen, to take care of you, to hold your hand, to hug you when you're scared, and to make sure you're always, always surrounded by people who love you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and I hope that's enough. Whew. You and I, we've... You've got a long road ahead of us, sweetheart. But we're going to figure it out together, okay? Whew. <laughs> We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. <laughs>